Hello, all of my fabulous, beautiful people, and how are you all doing today? I hope that you're all doing very, very well. I am doing amazing. The birds are chirping. The sun is shining, and I'm in a good mood. I hope you all are too. So today, we're going to be going through a new subreddit that we have never done before, and it is r slash confidently incorrect. It looks like it'll be a great one for me to make comedy out of, and I think that we all need a laugh here today. So without further ado, let's just roll that intro and then get right into the cringe. Elon Musk. Oh, great. We're starting off awesome, aren't we? He says on Twitter, population collapse due to low birth rates is a much bigger risk to civilization than global warming. Where's everybody supposed to live, Elon? That is not how, nor has it ever been how, parentheses work by your logic, parentheses 2 plus 3 squared would equal 25. Hint, the answer is 13. Now I know that I don't math, but I know that that's wrong. More than 3.5 million Australians, including almost a quarter of adult women, have experienced emotional abuse, new figures reveal. Well, since there are only two, two genders, this would suggest that 75% of emotional abuse is suffered by men. Why is this not the title? Um... Well, cranky, mate. What are the males in Australia called, then? A fucking alien? I know, my accent's awful. I apologize. Also, I just want to point out that the whole two gender things has always kind of made me laugh because here in Canada, we have always had male, female, and then other. I just, I don't get what the, what the issue is. Calm the fuck down. By microorganisms, they mean bacteria. And bacteria are... Drum roll... Animals, not plants. I think this dude watched way too much of the Cartoon Network growing up. Also, the downvotes really made me laugh. I love that for you, dude. White rice wouldn't solve the problem. White rice does not repair phones. Someone just I told repair me this, phones. Someone just told me this morning. I'm talking about a water damage phone. Okay. Someone told me this morning that they put a whole video camera in a bag of white rice okay. and it solved the problem. Okay. Why would it not solve this? Because white rice does not repair an electrical connection that's damaged. How do you know what was wrong in there? I went through you it. You didn't need to. I went through it and looked and I, I asked found you, the problem. I asked you if white rice would repair it. You said, you said no. So you're saying the difference to brown rice, which you tried. I didn't try brown rice. rice. That's, it's on camera. That's you what you said yesterday. I said brown rice, but I did not say. I said, said, I, did, I, did, I, did, I, said I said rice. I did not say white rice. White rice will you, repair that. You have said three different things since you've stood here. And you lied to me. No. You lied to me. Not once. Let's just wait till the cops get here. Okay. Okay. I could take it apart okay. and show you exactly. I don't care what was wrong because all it did was slide in water, sir. You told me, you told me flat out, white rice will not repair that. Flat out. Exactly. Exactly. It won't. Okay. It's not what I'm hearing. Well, what you hear and what I actually did are two different things. I don't care what you did. Yeah, you... you no, I don't. Okay, so what kind of world do you live in where what is actually repaired and what you're told are two different things and you don't care to know the truth? I do care to know the truth. Okay. I've been told by many people that white rice will do it. Okay. I come in here to your business, you tell me it won't. I can tell you the world is flat. A lot of people tell me it won't. It isn't. Exactly. But when it comes to cell phones, which are kids' toys, 
Ah, uh, white rice, a boomer solution to everything. Maybe it only fixes video cameras and not telephones. Speaking of boomers, here we have a post that says Fisherman versus Lightning, Millennial. 1981 till 1995 and the comment is millennials are born 2000 to current just saying to current i don't think that that's what you meant also what really made me laugh about this is that the post is also wrong because millennials are actually from 1981 till 1996 according to my trusted friend google probably gonna get shit for this, but I genuinely enjoy driving fast. I commuted an hour each way all summer and hit at least 90 every time. Speed limit was 70. Michigan. Most of it was on three or four lane roads and people kept right if it wasn't too crowded. But every once in a while there would be a pack of cars going 75 across all of the lanes and that is frustrating. I would always coast up to them using the brakes as little as possible to try to send the message that I want to go through. The left lane is for passing, which is why I'm always in it. If you want to drive slower, move the fuck over. And if anyone cares, I have never gotten a ticket, been pulled over, or been in an accident other than being rear-ended while stopping, which I attribute to how attentive I am behind the wheel to be safe at those speeds. Huh. I'm definitely safer driving fast and paying close attention than going slower and texting or changing the music or whatever. Well, Michigan, drive safe out there and be weary of this dude. Is it fair to say Canada is part of the Commonwealth? Isn't Commonwealth the very definition of communism? Oh, Lord. I'm sorry, I would love to answer your question, but I can't because Big Brother Trudeau is listening. Insult to injury. They somehow included Russia, but missed Georgia. Lent. Georgia is a state in the U.S. It's not a sovereign country. Get your facts straight before you make untrue tweets. Yeah, Lint. Get your facts straight before you make untrue tweets. Jesus. Good job correcting Lint here. Am I toxic or does anyone else fully believe they could run a marathon with absolutely no training and be fine? Like, yeah, I'll be sore for a week after, but I don't need to train for it, let alone train for a year. Grow up. Yeah, bitch, you just toxic, and I'd love to see her try. And grow up, since when was it immature to train for something? What am I missing here? If masks don't stop oxygen flow, now would the tiny, tiny virus be stopped from entering? Use your brain. Well, for one, virus particles are about 100 times larger than oxygen molecules. Secondly, virus particles are carried in respiratory droplets, which are many times larger than themselves. Neither is a difficult concept to understand. Yeah, so use your brain. Hey, I'm doing all right. What's up? I feel like we walked into the middle of a conversation here. I'm leaving for New York tonight and really wanted to do a photo shoot if you're interested. If I have time, schedule is kind of full at the moment. Also, I don't work for free. Smile. Sorry about that. It says you're a freelance photographer. Freelance means you work for yourself and not tied to anyone. A freelance photographer means you work for free. Oh, what the fuck is this? No, it's not. Stop trying to get free work done for yourselves and just pay your friend, would ya? Books you'll love. Mouse. A book about a Nazi mouse at Walmart. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this one I actually did have to look up. I try not to read the comments at all when I am gathering the posts out of the Reddit because I don't want to be influenced by them when I'm doing my jokes for the videos. And I was like, what is this? And what it is, is it's actually a graphic novel that was by an American cartoonist. His name's Art Spiegelman. I think I said that right. And it's actually about his interview with his father about his experiences as a Polish Jew and Holocaust survivor. So, um, you might like it. 
ovaries are inside a vagina, hence why it's called a vagina diagram? How much of a low IQ dunce do you have to be to not understand this concept? Or are you purposely being stupid? If he's talking about my ovaries, he's referring to my vagina. Yeah, that's why at the time of the month, it's my vag that hurts. Number one, there's no gravity on the moon. Rotation grants gravitational pull. Earth rotates at 814 miles per hour, and yet you're not bound. The moon doesn't rotate at even a sixth of that speed. There's zero gravity. Number two, no living creature venturing our technology has ever passed through the radiation belt and lived. Number three, moon's surface exceeds 280 degrees. Kodak paper, admittingly, used for such photos is only good to 170 degrees. Number four, the moon reflects the sun's light, making the surface hellishly bright. No camera then or now has shutter speed fast enough to capture such photos. Number five, there's no moisture on the moon, thus you'd never be able to leave a bond in footprints. Particles can't bond. Oh my god guys, he's got us. The moon landing is not real and the earth is shaped like a banana. Love how they will be sure to stop a moving plane, but once they're calling in Mayday, we're going down, no one comes. How's a fighter jet gonna help a passenger plane falling from the sky? You understand there's this thing called air support, right? That rescues people from the air. That does not work the way you think it works. No, it does not. Mayday, mayday, mayday. The Twin Towers circled were destroyed on 9-11 21 years ago. He claims to be 23, meaning he would be at least two when that was taken. That was 12 years ago, because 2011 was 12 years ago. Huh? No, that's, that's not what that means. And I was in 10th grade when that happened, and I'm like 36. I Fuck, I'm old. Turtles are amphibians, so they can breathe underwater and in air. How did it even drown? Turtles are um, actually reptiles, not amphibians. Don't make them mad at us. CO2 is not a pollutant. It's a plant food we want more, not less. So I just want to stress this fact because it is something that seems to be circulating all over the place. And I just want to show everyone how long we have known that this information is incorrect. This is the David Suzuki Foundation. You guys all should love David Suzuki, okay? And as you see here, it says, life evolved to live within limits. It's a delicate balance. Humans need oxygen, but too much can kill us. Plants need nitrogen, but excess nitrogen harms them and pollutes rivers, lakes, and oceans. Ecosystems are complex. Our health and survival depend on intricate interactions that ensure we get the right amounts of clean air, water, food from productive soils, and energy from the sun. Climate change deniers either willfully ignore or fail to understand this complexity. I think it might be a little bit too complex for them. As shown in their simplistic argument that carbon dioxide is a beneficial gas that helps plants grow and is therefore good for humans. They go on to talk about some examples of this and then they talk about how it is designed to downplay the seriousness of global warming. Even its benefits to plants is more complicated than deniers let on. And it goes on to explain that burning fossil fuels, creating emissions through industrial agriculture and destroying carbon sinks like wetlands and forests that sequester carbon are already affecting the planet in many ways, detrimental to the health and survival of humans and other life. The evidence is clear and overwhelming. Rapid increases in CO2 emissions are not beneficial. It's past time we started conserving energy and shifting to cleaner sources. And again, the source for this is the David Suzuki Foundation, and this article is from 2016. So the information about this has been out for that long, 
So uh, maybe these deniers should just cut the crap. And that is about all of the incorrectness that I can take for the day. Thank you so much for coming here and spending some time with me to go through all of this subreddit and have some fun. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down below if you want me to do this one again or not. Maybe you hated it. I don't know. Please do all the YouTube things like like, sub, you know, the drill. I don't think I have to go into it. Although YouTube tells you to go into it at least twice in every video. I, I have problems with that. I'm the worst YouTuber in the world, apparently. So I am going to be releasing some videos throughout the week. I'm not going to schedule anything because I'm not sure how I'll be doing, but stay tuned for them. And no matter where you are, what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous, fabulous day. Take care and I'll see you all real soon. Bye! And join the members, damn it!